After I got involved in the law, and I was with a great law firm, um, I realized that unfortunately the law was a business and I decided if it was going to be a business, I'd be in business for myself. For a kid, I was probably making about 100,000 bucks a year, which is like a lot of money by today's standards. I don't know what that would be. And I went to work for my father's company for about $5,000 a year. Uh, and uh, what at was that, your father's my, company at that my time? My father's company was called Northeast, actually drive-in theater, because all we had was drive-in theaters in those days. And we had just a few drive-in theaters. And I basically took over the operation at his request. Uh, did you and your father stay in partnership for? We did, uh, and my brother was involved for a long period of time. My brother, with whom I'm very friendly today, I just went out to a birthday party at his house. Um, but he actually had the operational part of the business. I was dealing with the film companies and running around the country getting locations. I had the more glamorous part of the business, and he wasn't particularly happy about it and left, although I, I begged him not to. Um, and he did very well. He went into the banking business and became very successful. I enjoyed doing what we did. We ended up, we started with nothing. We became fairly dominant in the, uh, in the drive-in theater business. Uh, we had no indoor theaters then. I remember the first indoor theater sitting in a, in a, at a, a counter in Worcester buying a broken down theater in Worcester, Massachusetts, which we still operate today. It was, it, it was a small cinema. We split it. We made it into cinema one and two, and that was the beginning of our uh, growth in the motion picture exhibition business. Today we have about 1,350 screens in the United States, Chile, Argentina, England, Ireland, Scotland. Are those separate from Viacom? Yes, they're strictly national. Is that that was National Amusement's core business, and is today. And is that essentially a parent company of Viacom? It is. National Amusement's a small, at that time, 400 screen theater swallowed Viacom. And uh, that was in 1987.